Hey guys, Mr. Riz here. So I'm going to help you out with the last section of the 2.5 notes in Algebra 2. Today what we're going to do is kind of connect the completing the square to the parabola. So we're going to try to take all these equations here and turn them back into vertex form by co completing the square. So if you remember back from when we did vertex form, we get an equation that looks something like y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. If we look part of it kind of looks like completing the square like we usually get x minus something squared. We usually get this number on the outside and then we got this a number here. So let's talk about how we can take this problem here and complete the square. So I'm going to ignore this y here for right now. I mean, technically we're not but let's start looking at this expression here. Like if I were to move that seven over to the other side, I could get, uh, maybe I'll write the work over here. I'll write it here. Negative three X squared minus nine X. All right, and then plus blank equals seven. Or my, negative seven, because I minus it over to the other side. Now, typically what we do is we take this number here and we divide it by two and then square it, but that's not going to come out. And well, one, nine doesn't divide by two, but here's the thing. And this is where the A comes in, comes from is I could take this problem here and I need to divide both of these, not by the seven, but I can divide this, this whole expression by negative three. So I'm going to factor out this negative three here, make this an X squared, and then plus three X plus blank equals negative seven plus blank. Okay, so let's figure out what goes in this blank. This blank, ooh, this still doesn't come out nice, but we can work with it here. This blank is gonna be this middle number cut in half squared. So three cut in half is nine, or not three over two and square would be nine over four. Probably should have picked a better number to work out for this first example, but it will be okay. Now I can't just put a nine over four here because the problem is this nine over four is being added to the negative three. So I have to take this number and multiply it by negative three and I get negative 27 over four. Okay, so now our expression is gonna come out to be, we still have this negative three, but we can simplify this expression here equals all right what does this come out to be i'll we'll have to do a little bit of math here this is what negative 28 over 4 that's negative 27 over 4 so that's what negative 55 over 4. man should pick bigger better numbers here but it's okay it's gonna work out all right we're gonna get x here plus sign in the middle plus sign in the middle and then three cut in half is three over two or 1.5 if you want to use decimals so how we can take this and turn it into vertex form, you can actually see it's really close to what we have. We kind of have y equals, here is our a is negative three, x minus h, so h would be negative three over two, so well, we still have plus three over two squared. And then to get our k, all we gotta do is move this number back over to the spot. So plus 55 over four. And we can graph this on Desmos to double check our work here. All right, let's try one that's going to come out a little bit nicer, hopefully make us feel better. So I'm going to scroll down here. As you can see, and then we'll go through the CYU. All right. So let's first, let's move the 9 over to the other side. So we got a 2x squared plus 12x plus blank equals 9 plus blank. All right, since we have this number in front here, we got to factor it out. All right, so if I divide by two, this just becomes an x squared. Divide 12 by two, that's six plus blank. All right, so normally what we do is put in this blank. Okay, what six divided by two is three. three actually, this should be a negative nine. I just noticed that that is a negative nine because I have to minus it over. I did the same mistake on the first one. All right. So normally this magic blank here is whatever, six divided by two is three, three squared is nine. So I put a nine here, but it's going to be multiplied by two on the other side. So I'm gonna put an 18 here. And so we would get, let's see, two times, 
All right, on this side here, this would be nine. And let's see, x squared, take the square root of that, that's x, plus sign in the middle, plus sign in the middle, square root of nine is three. So the parabola form of this would be y equals two times x plus three squared, move that nine back over, minus nine. So let's kind of use this technique to help us out and let's look at a couple of the CYU problems to make sure we can do it. And we're going to have some easier ones on the CYU problem because I'd rather, put, rather have put them on the air than on the notes. All right, there we go. Let's clear this all off. All right. So every single one, we're going to put these in vertex form. So let's start off with this easy one here. All right, it doesn't have a number in front, so I'm going to minus this four over leave her blank. So this is going to be x squared minus 6x plus blank equals negative 4 plus blank. All right, so let's see here. If I divide 6 by 2 is 3, 3 squared is 9. So that's what we're going to put on both sides. So we would have Something squared equals five. There's no number outside because there wasn't a number in front of the x squared. I mean, technically there is, and we'll talk about that at the end of the problem, but we get x minus in the middle, square root of nine is three. So all we need to do to write the expression here is move that five back over. So we kind of move it away and then put it back over. It's like, I don't know, like cleaning your room. You move something out of the way and then you put it back. X minus three squared minus five. So we technically have a one in front, a minus three in the middle, and a plus negative five at the end. Alrighty, so I think you guys will be okay on the next easy one. You should be able to try that one on your own. Let's do this one that has a number in front. Hot dog. This might come out all right. Let's see, fingers crossed here. It'd be crazy if it does sometimes. All right, did I type in the wrong number? Let me pause this one in. Oh, we'll find out. Uh, all right, no, actually it says complete the square when vertifex for answer using fractions. Okay, so that kind of gave us a warning. We're gonna have some fractions here. All right, so normally we're gonna move that two over to the other side. So we got three X squared plus eight X plus blank equals negative two plus blank. All right, now, since we do have a number in front, let's factor that out. All right, so this would be an x squared plus, if I take eight divided by three, that's eight over three plus blank. All right, so maybe we gotta do a little bit of work on the side. First thing I'm gonna do is cut this in half. Eight over three cut in half is four over three. And then we need to square that number, that'd be 16 over nine. All right, so it's 16 over 9 in here, but I'm going to have to times it by 3 to go to the other side. 16 over 9 times 3 would be 48 over 9, which does reduce. We can divide them both by 3. 16 over 3. Okay, a little weird, but they're just numbers. We can deal with them. All right, so let's see. We have the 3 on the outside something squared, and then what's negative 2 plus 16 over 3? So let's see, this would be a negative 6 over 2 or 3. Yep, add them together, so that's 10 over 3. All right, so the square root of x is x plus sign in the middle, plus sign in the middle. And then let's see here, square root of that is 4 on the top, 3 on the bottom. Okay, so that means all we need to do to write our answer is we have a 3 in front, an x minus negative 4 thirds in the middle, and then plus, we'll have to move the 10 thirds over, a negative 10 thirds at the end. All right, it's kind of weird, but that's the answer. All right, and the next one's the same thing. So I think if you follow this step, you guys should be all right with those. All right, you guys have a great time. Enjoy this. If you have any questions, just reach out and ask. I think you guys would be okay. We'll try to spend some time going over these uh, before we hit the next section, 2.6. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.